What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Horror Hangout. Thank you for joining me today. This is one of my favorite videos to do every month. This is our horror movie collection update video for February 2022. We get 4K, DVD, Blu-ray, VHS. I buy stuff on all formats. Uh, this month is a little bit of a smaller haul, so this video shouldn't take us too awfully long. But uh, thank you for joining me. If you have uh, the time, let us know in the comments what movies you picked up and what, what, uh, what you're watching right now. You can follow me on Letterboxd now. Um, that should be in the description. If it's not, I'll fix that. So if you don't see it and you're looking for it, let me know and I'll, I'll make sure and take care of that. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in the, in the description. We got our, uh, Etsy page, my Instagram, where you can support the channel by getting merchandise, paintings, clothing, whatever. Um, if, if you want, otherwise just thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. We're about to hit a thousand subscribers. That's big news, man. And, uh, shot 31 is about to hit 20,000. So we're rocking and rolling and I have nothing but the, uh, utmost respect and uh, appreciation for all you guys hanging out with us so yeah if you if you uh just hit watch video getting your boy in the feels man i appreciate it let's talk some movies man oh also i had to put back the david howard thornton video for two days i'll drop it on wednesday march the second it'll be posted it's not monday okay um I, it's just scheduling for the channel i wanted to make sure we get videos out every day and uh, I had some stuff that needed to be done before that. So we're also going to have this week top 10 uh, horror movies on Prime that are included for free. And uh, top 10 werewolf movies coming out this week. So lots of good content. Lots of good content. And live streams every Tuesday. So come by and hang out around lunchtime. All right. So let's talk about some horror movies, okay? I love Aero Video, man. It's my favorite boutique label. I think by quite a bit. It might be my favorite label, period. But uh, I picked up this German like folklore... I don't know what to call this one, man. It's called Sleep. Have you heard of it? If you have, let me know in the comments what you think of it. I don't know much about it. I haven't watched it yet, but I watched the trailer. It's very uh, dreamlike. It's like if you took like a David Lynch movie and added like German folklore to it and made it scarier. That's what the trailer made me feel anyways. I don't know, man. I'll let you know when I watch it. Maybe I'll do a review on this one. But uh, look, it's got a beautiful slip cover. Oh, this is pretty. Uh, excuse me. Uh, this chair is making lots of noise, and it's driving me nuts. I need to tighten all the screws on it. So I got a new Mario Bava film called Shock, uh, one of the greats of the Italian Jello. Slipcover from Arrow Video, Blu-ray. I got The Vigil and Mary. Uh, and Morbid Colors. From my horror pack this month. I haven't watched any of them yet. I just haven't had the time. But uh should be pretty good stuff. I got the new 2021 Slumber Party Massacre. One of my favorite movies of the past few years. Because once I, the more I watch it, the more I understand how freaking great this movie is, man. I watched it with Carissa the other day. And she liked it as well. So, uh, Blood, Bath, and Beyond. I have to thank those fellas for recommending this movie called The Halfway House. I picked it up. It is very, very weird. Very B movie, very exploitation. I really enjoyed it a lot. It's got like non exploitation, women in prison feel to it. It's good, man. If you like the, you know, sex exploitation stuff with lots of naked ladies and fighting and, and very light on plot, heavy on cheese, this is good for you. I'm in the middle of it right now. I picked up uh, In Dreams with Annette, with Annette Benning and uh, Robert Downey Jr. I haven't seen this yet, but it was real cheap and it looked kind of cool. Also, this one was real cheap as well. It's called The Canal. Have any of y'all seen this before? I don't know much about it, but it looked pretty cool. It was only $3, so I figured, you know. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I've heard of this movie. I, I'm, I, may, I may be mistaken it for something else, but it felt like something that I had heard and been recommended, so I was kind of eager to try it out, whatever. I also got a copy of The Elephant Man, finally, a movie that I thought I had seen. I don't think I have, man. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, dude, that looks cool, man. <clears throat> Anybody seen Elephant Man? I'm sure you most y'all probably have. Isn't that like a body horror movie? I thought I saw that one, but maybe not. Picked up Black Friday on Blu-ray, one of my favorite movies of the year. Not because it's a great movie, it's just fun. It's got uh, Devin Sawa, uh, uh, Michael Jai White, and uh, Bruce Campbell. It's just a silly movie. It's fun, though. Uh, Chris made me a bootleg 4K of Dog Soldiers, so let's go. Uh, picked up a copy of Assault Girls on Blu-ray. Don't know much about this one either, but I'm pretty excited to watch it. I got a long watch list right now. Uh, go check me out on, on Letterboxd, man, so you can keep up with what I'm watching. 
Um, I picked up a copy of a movie called Transgression, the director's cut. I haven't broken it open yet. I'm going to real soon. My buddy Hugh watched this and told me that it was, you know, low budget, which is what I know. I know it's low budget, but it's, he said it was it's pretty, pretty throwed. Um, it's got a commentary track on it. What? But SRS makes good stuff, stuff that I like, shot on video type of things. Um, check this out. TV reporter Mary Selby wanted to get inside the mind of a serial killer. Now she can't get out. Transgression is a bleak, subversive, character-driven psychological drama that explores the extremes in human behavior. Driven and neurotic, Mary wanted more than just to report the story of a local serial killer. She wanted to understand the compulsions that drove him. So she consulted psychiatric, psychiatrist Dr. Andre Zarim. Immediately after utilizing her new insights in her newscasts, Mary is contacted by the killer, and despite the objections of uh, her police detective boyfriend, Mary becomes the only link between the killer and authorities. Mary is taken hostage in a daringly executed kidnapping by the killer who, subject, who subjects her to an intense series of sadistic mind games that forever change her life uh, and culminates in the ultimate transgression. Yeah, this is supposed to be pretty gnarly. Um, if that interests you, let me know. I'll tell you how I feel about it. But uh, it was like 20 bucks, and it was low, 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 low budget uh, exploitation, which is exactly the kind of stuff that I, I really do gravitate towards. Uh, I got three more. These ones are all, these are my big purchases of the month. I got, I finally freaking got, and you won't understand why I'm saying it like this until I tell you about the story, but I finally got a copy of the original Old Boy on 4K. So I have an Arrow video collection. It's like, I don't know, 40 or 50 movies. It's not crazy. Maybe 40. And forever, I had this one damn DVD sticking out on all my Blu-rays, and it was Old Boy, and I never even watched it because I was so pissed off. <laughs> so I'm just glad to upgrade. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a series of videos really, really soon. I've been organizing everything and getting it all alphabetized. And I'm going to do, it's going to be, let's see. So it's gonna be like eight videos. It's gonna be uh, my collection series, and I'll 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 be I haven't done that in a long time. And I've got a lot of movies now that I didn't have when I first tried to do this series. So I'm gonna do horror DVD A through L, horror DVD M through Z, horror Blu-ray the same way A through L, M through Z. Those are four videos. I'm gonna do non-horror A through L. Uh, oh shoot, non-horror Blu-ray probably. All in one go, non horror DVD. All in one go because I don't have near as much of that as I do horror stuff. And then I'll do like a series of boutique ones. So I'll do like an arrow video. I'll probably do like a well, I definitely do a Criterion, a Kino Lorber, maybe a Kino Lorber and Vinegar Syndrome one. And then I'll do like a Scream Factory one. Then I'll do a Steel Book one. And then I'll do a Nicolas Cage collection one because I got a lot of Nick Cage videos. Okay, so if you're interested in that, that's coming real, real soon. I'll try to start getting those out in March. So uh, last two, I picked up a copy of The Howling on 4K, Scream Factory. I'm super excited. came with a really pretty slipcover. Um, I, I need to watch this and review it on 4K for you guys. And last but not least, uh, one of my favorite people on the channel, Jamie, picked up a copy of Day of the Beast for me, and it got lost in the mail. And he's from the UK, so, he, so I went ahead and picked up another copy of it because... Well, I just thought that was just one of the nicest things, man. This is not cheap, and I, I really appreciate it, Jamie. Um, yeah, man, it's called The Day of the Beast. I don't know much about it, but it looked it looks awesome. So uh, I will be doing a full-on review of this. And I've got a movie review for uh, Frankenstein's Army coming out pretty soon, too. So i got a lot of content coming, man. I'm really focused on this channel right now and growing it and getting uh, – feeding the, the hungry, you know – what, 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 what would we call it? It's like a, I almost said crowd, but that's not really the word I wanted to use. Like a, whatever. Take care of you folks. Give you what you want. Bring you content. I'm sorry, I'm tired right now. It's like, it's only 11, but it feels like it's 3 a.m. So anyways, that's what I picked up this month. This is a terrible video. My apologies, man. I should... <laughs> hey man, you can't win them all, dude. It is what it is. If this is the worst video that I do in the next two or three months, then I'll be real, real happy. Um, God, this chair is so loud. I'm going to get a uh, hex rinse and fix this right now. So thank you so much for your time. 
Have a good day, everybody. Come back and see us. I got content, content, content coming for you, man. We got live streams every Tuesday around lunchtime, Central Standard Time, so about 12 o'clock Central Standard every day, every Tuesday. Uh, and then I got weekly videos. Patrons get uh, exclusive Discord. We get discounts on merch. And pretty soon I'll be having at least a once, at least once a month an exclusive Patreon live stream. So uh, anyways, if you like any of that, cool. If you don't, it's all good, man. Thanks for coming and hanging out for, uh, for a little while. And I uh, hope you have a good day. Peace.